Yes, we're done. All right. <laughs> Move to approve the minutes. Second. Second. Okay. We also had uh, Keith noted an error in one oh. of our previous meeting oh. minutes from uh, September. It was basically on the Chapter 90. We put Chapter 90 reimbursement pa paperwork, and it should have actually been a project request. So if you approve that change. I, I, I second. Move we approve it. Yep. Good. Then I will do that on okay. here. Just the kind of thing I would never have picked up on. No, yeah. nor I. I, yeah. Can somebody I, reads these things. <laughs> besides oh, us. please. Besides us. There. Okay, so that's that one. And the that minutes true. that you just approved are here for Jonathan. For moi. Wow. All right. So, okay. Um, an administrator. The select board essential. Um, Workshop that I talked about at the last meeting has been canceled oh, because yeah. it's on the same night as the Franklin County Selectors Association. Oh, so yeah. I believe that's the reason why it was canceled. But there is another one on December 12th, <clears throat> and it's titled Preparing for the Silver Wave, the Aging of Franklin County and its Impacts. So if you're interested on December 12th. Go, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looked actually pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, and the Hampshire County Select Board Association is having a meeting on December 5th, and it's Emmett Schmarzow from the co uh, State Council on Aging. He's the project, uh, the manager oh, yeah, of yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. program manager for Councils on Aging, um, and he's going to be the guest speaker there to talk about. Uh, so they kind of go hand in hand, those two uh, sessions. Yeah. Um, F.L. Roberts will be in at their next meeting at our next meeting um, to discuss 3rd. the parking lot. On December 3rd, we will also be having our tax rate hearing that we have oh, to okay. have yearly. Exactly. So Does that mean we start early or we're still starting at 7? We'll start at 7. It'll okay. be just be part of the meeting. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, we arranged the Boston Post Kane um, uh, presentation um, and Oh, we have a certificate to sign? Yes. This, and what I did is I did it for both Joe and Mary because they are the two oldest. Yeah. So it's the first time we've actually issued something to a couple, uh -huh. the, most, the most elder couple. Yeah. Joe is not doing well at all. So um, there is some concern on whether he'll oh. make, it. make it till, till but, even this day. Yeah. So... Um, Oh, okay. but we can yeah. give it That's kind of posthumously. So, <laughs> right, but he'd like to. Yeah, I. Yeah, uh, some days he's aware, and other days he's not. So we'll have to see. Mm. Um, okay, I have a thank you letter for Patty Devine uh, for her service as a conservation commission, and Patty. and also she has agreed to guide us through the. Great. Mill River project and the Mitchell Brook project. Yeah. So, um, and Susan announced today she is leaving. She uh, is going to Sunderland. Susan. Susan Warner, Warner oh our God. treasurer collector. Um, there, they had. She was up for this job previously, and but she turned it down. Is but there it, generous benefits? That <laughs> well, I think she's just kind of looking closer. for a change. Oh, okay. And uh, so she will be leaving, and I'll be at. I put an ad in the paper, and it, I'm going to have her put it out to the uh, treasurer collectors association as well. Are we going to advertise it for what number of hours? I'm going to put it. I put 28 to 30. What is she at now? She she went we, to she went to 30. Yeah. Um, but she is doing payroll and things like that. So it depends on the situation and who is hired. If that person is strong in human resources or whatever, then we may have her continue that new person do the payroll. But if they really aren't then mary ellen has been trained to do the payroll so um she it, it is separate pay um for right. the payroll so, yeah. so um, like mary ellen will yeah, yeah mary ellen will okay. have additional hours so, so but it but there's so it, but if i guess if that function isn't in, doesn't maintain isn't it maintained with the treasurer collector 
It's budgeted it's for 30 hours. hours. But without pay- payroll is a good chunk of time. Well, I mean, Susan gets hours in addition for certain parts of the payroll, but she does have payroll that's included in her treasurer collector hours too. Mm -hmm. So the bulk of her payroll is separate right now, but there is a portion of it that's part of her treasurer collector's job, and it depends on how it works out. That's why I put 28 to 30. There's no way... Susan was terribly efficient in that okay. job, and there's no way that I think we could hire someone new to come in and do it for the hours. So you that think Susan... twenty-eight to thirty, even without payroll, right? Be... Okay, yeah, okay. that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, so the ad is going in on Saturday's paper. It will be on the website. It will be. Um, I'm going to ask Susan to put it out on the treasurer collector's site, and I'll put it out on my Mass Town Clerk site to see if anyone oh. out there is knows of anyone who's interested. How long has the, you been with us? Uh, I want to say it's been over 10 years. I think maybe mm. maybe 12, maybe? Yeah. Somewhere yeah. in there. Mm. So we'll be having so, a letter like that then. Yeah. Is, how, how, late, how long is she staying? Till January or till? Uh, she starts month? in Sunderland December 9th. Mm. Oh, so however, oh. however yeah. she agreed to help us out. She says right now things are quiet because the tax bills yeah. and, you know, tax payments came in November 1st. It's a little bit quiet, but she's agreed to come in and kind of guide us until we get a, a new okay. person. So but we're still, we're looking for somebody probably you know to start as soon as they as soon really as possible can. yeah, yeah. Uh, Sunderland did have one candidate that was a possibility um, they didn't have a lot of municipal experience but they did have a lot of accounting experience so that maybe they might be interested in our job mm-hmm. the the problem is that Deerfield is also advertising oh. for an assistant treasurer collector so oh. there's a lot of competition out there mm-hmm. right now uh huh. So, and mm-hmm. of course, Susan also works in Goshen, and she'll be so Goshen will also be looking for a treasurer collector. So, mm-hmm. there is a lot of competition. No, well, we ought to get and together a, with Goshen. You think between us and Goshen, we <coughs> can, you know, do it out with Deerfield? <laughs> maybe, maybe that, that's a good idea that Joyce has. You know, it, um, well, they're all, I, I don't know how many hours Goshen is, but Deerfield is a 40 hour position, well, right, so. But go, but, I mean, if Susan and Goshen, if Susan and Goshen, if Susan was doing both Goshen and Waitley, you know, it's probably 50 hours or what have you, but maybe we advertise together and see if we want to find someone, if we can find someone like that. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Maybe, it may yeah. be more work for you to do it that way. Um, <coughs> it's important that we yeah. have um, the treasurer collector here when the town accountant's here. So you get into those situations yeah. where it gets a little bit. Yeah. Um, actually, Susan was only the collector. In Goshen, oh. she was. I don't think she was the treasurer. I think she's mm. only the collector in Goshen. I so, mm. um, so it is less right. hours. But so that's my sad news for the day. Oh, okay. Uh, All right. Well, we, we should we should write up a letter and stuff. Yeah, like that. yeah, be yeah. Up, yeah. Um, we still have our two dogs. Court date hasn't been set on that. Uh, Keith, I'm not sure whether he. I don't think he was going to make it in today. Um, the Mitchell Brook, uh, they, right now there's a water control plan out there for review um, for the CONCOM. And once that's determined, then they will set a date as to when they're going to do construction. This late in the season, Keith is wondering if they might just wait until spring before mm-hmm. they, um, yeah. they do yeah. any work. So we'll see how that progresses. Um, he does have some Chapter 90 reimbursement requests. <laughs> this okay. was for the um, paving that was done out here, um, okay. River Road and Christian Lane And what paving. a nice job. It was. So there are a multitude of s- forms here that need to be signed. Um, the first four on the... I think they're all on the right hand side. They didn't. Those? Yeah, you all sign those. So that's that. Thanks. tonight. Yeah. Thank you. 
Can we keep talking as we're signing? Or? Yep, yep. Um, just to let you know that uh, the Massachusetts Environmental Protection Agency has approved the town's MEPA application. Yay. 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 Uh, and they have also determined that it does not require an environmental impact report, which is a good thing. So, Because that would cost. Yes, that would be. Okay. Um, so that's good news. And now we'll be moving on to the next steps of filing um, a notice of intent with the CONCOM and the other permits that need to go to the other agencies. MEPA is just one of the hurdles that we have to get through. And I have not heard yet from um, MEMA on whether they have approved our grant application to move it forward. I meant to call, um, when I got back, I meant to call, um, I can't think of his name right now, at MEMA and ask them, oh, Dan, at MEMA and ask them what, you know, whether they made a determination yet. And I, I just didn't do that. So um, hopefully that will guide us as to whether we change our application mm. or, yeah. or um, use the new one. Um, Wendy Foxman in Deerfield has been working on a CIC grant. Uh, it's Community Innovation Challenge Grant. Mm -hmm. for the regional ambulance service um, basically the grant what she's proposing the grant money be used for is the additional equipment that needs to be put on the ambulances to make them paramedic level mm -hmm. and also mm -hmm. the f likely the first year salary of the ambulance director oh so it will actually lower the town the <coughs> okay. town's assessments if we get this grant. Get How um, likely is that? It's, very competitive. it's it's a competitive grant, but it has all the the bells and whistles that they look for in a grant application. Oh, okay. So it's so we're really one of the, part of the target audience. Yeah, I yeah. mean, um, it's got the regional effort. The only thing is that we have to defend the action of it's actually costing the towns more. A lot of these grants, they want it to cost yeah. less, but sure. because we're enhancing the service yeah. level dramatically, um, dramatically yeah. uh, that I think will offset the fact that we're um, actually paying more. But they like to see the regional efforts. They like to see the cooperation amongst all the towns. Um, this is actually, I'm going to ask you if you would sign the um, signature page on the grant application. Uh, so that we, it's due November 22nd. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's kind of one of those things that's got to be done kind of like quickly. Right Short order. So, um, and it's a signature and then print. So, okay. um, and there's two pages. So are they saying that my signature is not legible? I, I think they say everybody's signature isn't legible there you these go. days. <laughs> Well, it, so many it, people don't learn cursive. They I'm don't. learning that. I mean, I, when I don't. write something on the board, sometimes my students say, what, you, what, what does that say? say? Really, they ask what it is. They don't even know what it is. They never can't mind, even read it. And that, never mind that you think my oh, handwriting is perfect. You sign one, right? right? Yeah. You don't need to sign this one. That's just a continuation page. Nope. Yeah. So. We don't need it. Um, I think we're going to need one more line. Oh, no. So I think There's Jonathan needs to. Oh, oh, I can't even draw a straight line. Never mind. Make a yeah, legible. Go. So. <laughs> um. And also, as far as the ambulance is concerned, our uh, Board of Oversight is actually meeting this evening. The BOO. The BOO for the Regional oh, yeah. Ambulance is meeting this evening. Yeah, I, mean, I think this is, meeting is to kind of organize and become aware of what task it is that they have to do. We're suggesting the town administrators kind of are Wendy's going to the meeting, so she's going to kind of facilitate Beer. the meeting. Okay. Um, and hopefully they will break down into, like, subgroups so that, you know, one group can concentrate on this issue and another one on another. Because there are a lot of things that this group is going to have to do. And, you know, they've got policy to write. They've got a job description to write. They have, um, yeah. uh, there's just so there's many. There's amount to do items yeah so if they can break it down into um 
parts that each one group can work on rather than having everybody work on the whole thing. Um, it, we do have the IMA um, finalized and both councils have reviewed it. Um, it takes into consideration all of the things we discussed in previous meetings. Uh, the recommendation from council is that a motion be made um, that the board approve the agreement among Deerfield, Sunderland, and Waitley for the South County Emergency Medical Services operation and authorize signature of the agreement upon approval of the agreement by the other participating towns and satisfactory completion of the terms of the related building lease agreements and the primary building and for the primary building in South Deerfield and the reserve building in Sunderland. And Deerfield also, uh, Sunderland also voted um, and the completion of the inventories. So basically the signing won't be done tonight, but there'll be a vote that vote. you are to going sign to it. sign it. Just there's the commitment well, there. Okay. Um, and then once all of those parts are part of this agreement, then it will be circulated for for everyone that to sign. Reasonable. So I don't mm -hmm. know. I, I mean, that was the Joe, motion okay. that. Um, I'd like to make a motion. <laughs> I move that the board approve the agreement among Deerfield, Sunderland, and Waitley for South County Emergency Medical Service Operations and authorize signature of the agreement upon approval of the agreement by the other participating towns and satisfactory completion of the terms of the related building lease agreements for the primary building in South Deerfield and the reserve building in Sunderland. And do I add in? And the, and the completion, and the completion of, the of the inventory list. list. Sorry. Yeah. Is that good? Okay. Um, I, I want to throw in, in terms of the meeting of the Board of Oversight tonight for the ambulance, that um, the, I'm under the impression that they might be discussing the makeup of the Board of Oversight at that meeting, and the Board of Oversight is not the the the, the, the authorized this, right. body to discuss right. the makeup of the board of oversight that will require the three boards of select to get together right. yeah. and discuss this. So if you're watching, that is part of the IMA, not the right. Not right. and not Wendy the would know that. Right, Wendy it's not the purview. Of, right, right. Okay, <clears throat> so Wendy will keep them in line. Yeah, Wendy should keep them in line, and we we have we discuss that in our little meeting together to okay. um, determine okay. where. <laughs> What we were going to, Wendy was very adamant that they needed some guidance to, <laughs> and M Margaret and I were ready, ah, just let them go at it. <laughs> so Wendy wanted to kind of guide them and get them headed in the right yeah. direction, yeah. and we well, understand. Well, I kind of wish yeah. that one of us was there for that first meeting just because yeah. The, yeah. They, the other two towns have select board representation oh, at this first meeting. Yeah. yeah. They're on, Tom and Mark well, we are both, on the they're on, oh, the, okay. on the meeting, on the board. Yeah, they're, we could They go were and the then. appointees of yeah. the yeah. board. Ours are John and Randy. Right. Right. Uh, Gary, sorry, and Gary. Right. Gary and Randy. Gary and Randy. And they're going to be great. Right. I just wish, kind of wish, at this first one, whether there had been. Hmm. Well, I think. Um, we could go crash. Yeah. We're going to be done soon. We could. We could. Okay. So that is the ambulance update. Where are they meeting, by the way? Sunderland's Public Safety Building. Okay. Oh, easy to crash. Okay. Easy to crash. Um, I, I don't, let's see. I don't know no update if on. there's any town hall update. Um, I'm going to be um, attending the Community Preservation Committee meeting tomorrow evening to give the CPC an update. Uh, on what's going on with with the town hall project, um, you know we're, we are perhaps perhaps is probably a liberal word a loose word um, going to be asking them for a significant amount of money as part of the financing of this mm -hmm. project, and so I want to keep them closely involved with with or aware of the process. Um, we had a the three of us all, all attended a. a what I've heard and understand was a very good meeting of stakeholders and other experts on various topics. Um, when was that? Last week now? Yep. Uh, which we go brought, brought in electricians and HVAC experts and a lot of the other people who know the building very well. And it gave them an opportunity to have a conversation with the subs of Margot Jones um, to discuss mm -hmm. the building. Uh, everything I've heard was that it was a, a 
at least from the perspective of Margot Jones and her team, was a very helpful meeting. Okay. Um, a lot of decisions that are going to need to have to be made pretty soon now in terms of windows, mm -hmm. insulation, and things like that, heat, the, and the actual heat, heating and cooling system that, that we adopt. But it was, it was a really good meeting, and I hope it was felt that it was a good use of time by the great people who came to help and give their solicited mm -hmm. input. Yeah. On the on that topic, I thought I had it in my packet here, but I did receive notification that the community facilities fund has been funded at a higher level um, than community facilities fund. That's the one the grant we had applied for last year, the but cultural, didn't get the cultural. The cultural oh, I'm sorry, cultural facilities mm -hmm. fund. Um, oh, that was part of that whole package where they to increase tourism yeah yeah yeah, yes. yeah 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 so hopefully um if we can get a little bit more on the cultural side application in it will have a better right. chance this year right. and, and we, that has not been put out yet it's so. not put out yet they said the announcement probably wouldn't be for a month so, so, I, so it'll what? probably be february like it was last time they don't give you a good big turnaround no uh well it came out in February, and the grant was due mid-March. So I yeah, think there's about a, six weeks. Well, that'll yeah. be a revision of the last. We'll revise it the will last. Uh, yeah. What was the problem with the last? They just the, didn't have it was. Money. They felt it was leaning more towards town hall, uh, municipal, yeah. rather than the cultural nice. aspect. Yeah. That's why we need a stronger, stronger uh, application for the upstairs. Yeah. One of the things that I've done to help us make sure we get this grant is that I'm soliciting peer peer review teams to really look at the at what we write and say, okay, this is what we seem to be missing. This is, this seems like a strong section, almost to serve as an internal assessment. Yeah. What would we score with it, this so we can edit? And we have some grant writers that are that have offered to help as well with that. And at whole the process, time so. that we were writing the original application, most of the information I had was on the rehab of town hall as a town right. hall, and not on the more cultural aspect of ah. it. So um, we did have your letter that about you know providing winter, melon winter Wednesdays. watermelon Wednesdays or what whatever, but it, there was just not enough on that side of things oh, to I make it a strong more. application. Yeah. Okay. I think they're looking for more commitment, a, a stronger commitment. A perhaps a schedule, you know. Uh, the, well, remember when, I don't remember know. when Ann, no, when, when, um, when we got the, 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 you know, it was sort of essentially a business plan for Quan Quan, how many, how many days they were gonna hopefully be used. I think that kind of thing. How many oh, nights and mm -hmm. how many days and what's the usage going to be of town hall yeah. so that it is more than just a, an office for Lynn Sibley? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. So, so you know, it's it. just a bit a, a stronger. And that was the um, gist of the comments. We did get comments, which is nice when you write a grant um, to find out why your grant application didn't. And, and comments that pertain to what you wrote right unlike the firefighters and it's not to say that they weren't they didn't point out some very strong points and pieces of the application yeah. package that we wrote it just was deficient in, in a couple yeah. areas yeah. That well so um we'll try again and yeah. that grant is is max is at a at 250 I think or 250 250 yeah and it could be more or will the max be the same, and they'll just be able to award more money? They may be able to award more. Yeah, I yeah. we'll have to see how it comes out. Yeah. So okay. still two fifties. Oh, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've been a part of the Franklin County Alcohol Beverages Compliance Initiative for years. We need to renew the contract. Um, this is when. Uh, our police officers go to the various areas and check the compliance of whether they're selling to minors and things like that. So, um, how do they check that, by the way? Well, they they acquire some minors. Oh, okay. I was, I was say, they don't. They don't go in. There's no, they like they ask entree. they ask some minors yeah. to go with them. Right. And see yeah. if Try they to can. Get some yeah. Hoops. So, do, do the do the minors get paid for this, or what's the what's the incentive um, for them? I don't. Um, I don't know. It is. It, it, there are compliance check guidelines here. I can't. I'm just curious. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I don't know if they do or not. Oh, but so these there's two copies. No, I guess there's only one copy of the contract. I thought I had two. Uh, 
No, that's just explaining it. So, um, we're signing something here. Anything yes, it's a memorandum of understanding cards? regarding alcohol. Right. I wasn't sure but what they but would be coming in. Oh, are okay. we all signing this? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, JM Farms, I... No update? Um, no. Well, I think they've made a purchase of a... Or they've got, got some kind of agreement on a piece of property in Deerfield. Oh, okay, for mm -hmm. the dispensary? So, for the whole works, I guess. Oh, for the whole thing, okay. That's, that's good for them. As long as there's a lo the local dispensary, it's good for everybody. Yep. We don't have to worry about it. So. Um, I also have another grant agreement, and Joyce signed the paperwork before, so I think she should. This is the actual grant. Uh, it's a $500 grant for um, recycle bins and okay, things like that, and repair of the bulletin board at the um, transfer station. So if you could sign... Joy signed the original stuff, so we'll let her sign that. <laughs> I think it, it is the absence of the. So yes. What was the thing on a petition? Um, well, I left it on the agenda because I thought maybe they might be coming in, uh, but they actually have some kind of agreement with a piece of property in Deerfield, so that's oh, where they're. Oh, the industrial park. Going to go to Deerfield. No, I think <laughs> it's across the street from Yankee Can uh, Red Roof Inn. I think it's the. I can't think. Oh, of the, oh, the, the old eighteen T store there. The old Deerfield Plastics place. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So. That's a that's a that's a pretty big campus. It is, but. You know, if it's lit up it all was night, in the though, paper. You know, I, I'm not telling any secrets that was in the paper. Oh, so. yeah. But if that's lit up all night, then Good that's right down to five and ten minutes. Yeah, that's that's different than you know, do it in some of the neighborhood. You know. <coughs> um, I also have an agreement here for um, you know how we've been signing the statewide agreements um, for police and fire and mutual aid. Mm -hmm. Well, now there's one for the Franklin County Regional Shelter Plan. Um, it's very similar to the other agreements. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are looking for the town to sign on to this agreement. And it only requires the chair. Okay. And that's to, like, we'll open our school to shelter. Um, it's basically yeah. if, um, if it's the needed. town becomes a participant in a regional shelter, it lays out what you would be responsible for as a mutual aid agreement. This is like emergency shelters. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. So. Another wonderful regional. <laughs> That's great. I love it. I take it I should sign uh, down here. Um, yes. Yeah. They're both C, so I was like, I don't want to get that. There's two copies, yeah. so <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> um, Hampshire Power is you know how when they were here before they were talking about getting rid of their um shared um program mm -hmm. uh and but the only other option is the real time mm -hmm. and real time has not been in our favor lately yeah um just because of the way the electricity costs are at this point in time right. natural gas prices are driving that a lot yeah so what the hampshire power in trying to keep the best price for everyone is now putting out a fixed price they're going to go out to bid oh. and would like all the towns to sign on and get a fixed price uh over the winter months hmm. um so they're just asking um us if we want to be part of that bid. Um, and our choice is to do the real time, which hasn't really worked out for us in the past. Right, the water department is on the real time. And over the last uh, right, three or four months, tight. yeah. But over the last three or four months, we've paid seven, thirty-seven dollars more than we would have paid with Wemco. We didn't oh. get a, a, a so. No. There, there wasn't a, a guaranteed price, a guarantee. Uh, of savings in, as not part in of the this? real time not in the real time mm. and the shared was you would you would never pay more 
the shared agreement was that you would split any savings that there was, and but you wouldn't have to pay <coughs> anymore. Well, a guarantee of yes, yeah. yeah. But um, they are doing away with that shared one. Uh -huh. So, um, and we haven't gotten a payment that I can recall and on that shared one. Well, that's they'll go out to bid for the fixed price. Oh. But they figure if they can get a large enough pool of yeah. Yeah. participants in that fixed mark fixed price bid, then they should get decent and does prices. This commit us to get whatever price they um, arrange. If we don't like it, do we still have one more step see. to opt out? Let me just read this again and see. We are compiling Google who oh, wish to be part of a. Please let us know if you would like to be I'm part of the, the group the bid. Volume. Right. Yeah. Remember, if we have a larger pool of them, we are likely to get a better price. So don't hesitate to let us know if you are interested. Well, we can t ask them. We're interested. We're interested. Yeah. And I will ask them it, if it's a com straight commitment. Yeah. I mean, it would be good to know what the, I mean, what, if the other option is uh, likely to be worse. Yeah. Then it doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Because this is a six-month fixed price, and will Miko changes their pricing every three months? Six months, I think. I think it's six. I think they all do six. They all do six. I thought that so. I thought that competitive suppliers yeah. were able to do six, but the utilities did three. No. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. I think the, it's. I could. Yeah. So I remember people telling me six, but then believing what other people wherever. told me then. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so I will let them know that you're interested, but we don't want to commit totally yeah. at this point in time until you rumors abound that the prices are going to be sneaking back up there. right and I, that's what they're saying and they're trying to avoid yeah um yeah you know sense. having us pay more um i have some ambulance abatements not oh, not too much only two two at a pretty good chunk of change yeah they're by the pretty way. i'd rather have that number at the deluxe service you know you're your insurance company doesn't pay 100% of whatever you... <laughs> well, I don't have any, I'm fortunate enough to have not have to, had to use the ambulance. But, but any, any of your bills. I mean, this is uh, insurance yeah. companies do the same thing they, with the hospitals and everybody. They, it's not just ambulances that are, are only right. getting you know, right. but, a but, certain percentage. But then insurance companies are the rare industry that gets to decide, I don't want to pay my whole bill. And not many of us get to have that choice. Mm -hmm. I don't know. State does it all the time. You and I don't. <laughs> you and I don't. Well, I don't know. That's sort of my point. We well, did get... not alone. The state does it, too. Okay. Yeah. A couple meetings ago, we signed the contract to have Jana Mean do the transfer station inspection. She's done the transfer station inspection. Oh, okay. And um, the only thing is the fire extinguisher. And the thing it, with that is we're on the schedule for having our extinguishers done in November. Oh. So it oh, just missed, just missed, missed okay. that. And she did stress about the ramp. Uh, the ramp between the recycling boxes needs to be repaired. Um, That's Gary, an annual. Yeah. And Gary and um, Bill O'Bear are working at getting quotes and estimates because there is the twenty thousand dollars appropriated yeah. uh for them to use to and repair. I thought, we, I thought we had Yeah, and we're they're getting there, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so. Right. so they got a little kick in the butt from the inspector and Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um Sumani so but that should be more than a patch job because literally this is on well, I think it's been a patch job because they've been thinking about doing the overall right, project, and yeah. and you know they they are looking at bids for the overall package. They they're getting quotes, and they do have one that fits into the budget. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully, but they need to get three quotes. So. Now, what would that do to service delivery in the time that the work is being done? What would happen to the um I think they would have the recycling bins would have to be moved off to the side and have like stairs put next to them, you know, portable stairs or something put next to them so that they can get into the scaffolding. Or, yeah, it, it might make sense because of that's going to be a hardship on a lot of residents to climb stairs and. and well, yeah, I I would maybe think the, staff up a little bit yeah. during that time period yeah. and have a couple of people there to help out. Yeah. yeah, I mean, generally 
they help you when you're recycling no, now but they, anyway. But it's, it's so easy in, yeah. easy out right. kind of thing. But people yeah. going up and down stairs, it might take more time. So I'm just saying yeah. if they have extra staff, they might want to. Yeah. Okay. Get Mike Leva back here every weekend. <laughs> might need ramps. Hmm? Might need ramps. Yeah, uh, it. We'll have to s- see how that right works. It wouldn't it's be until really solid, like you know, scaffolding or hmm. you know, with you know, with the uh, you know, with railings and yeah. stuff. So, um, Sue Monahan is having her Mother's Day road race, um, and I guess it gets a little bit difficult with um, traffic from uh, Yankee Candle to Christ- uh, to Route Five and Ten between the, those areas. So she w- is probably going to make a formal request to you to ask if they could close that section of the road down when they have their road race. Um, I haven't talked to Jim Savini about that, but she has, so I think he's on board with it. But it's just, it will need to be a decision. Um, That's like a one-hour closing. I think it would be, it might be two. It it might be a little longer. Is that because that's where they start and finish? Yeah. And and so people are are around there. It's not just because they run through there. That's Right. Right. It's the starting starting line and the finish line. Yeah. Exactly. That makes sense. Um, a while back, we had written a letter about the elevator issue. Remember the elevator yeah. inspection issue? Oh, Stan yeah. Rosenberg sent the letter back, said, yeah, we're working on it. We're trying to adjust it so it's not quite as um, cumbersome. Understand. for." Um, but he does have to deal with the Department of Public Safety and take into safety concerns on it. But um, they are trying to get... Um, at least for the, uh, you know, like wheel, just plain wheelchair lifts and dumb waiters and just uh-huh. things that don't get a lot of people on them to adjust that part of it, which elevators might not fall under that category. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. Yeah. Um, and along with the appointments that we have here, I also am looking for for those people out in the listening public, a Republican for a registrar of voters. Um, Neil Sanderson is no longer a registrar, so I but I need someone who's a Republican to even off my. <laughs> we don't have an opening on the on the municipal building committee, do we? Um, we voted well, Paul you never. Last time. Um, oh, that's true. Oh, I have to get sworn in or something. Well, I, that that does your responsibility. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, that is true. We would have filled that position. So, okay, okay. Um, and the next meeting, like I said, it will be December third. We're on that off schedule, and FL Roberts will be here, and also the tax rate um, hearing. So, great. Okay, and, that, right. and at the hearing, you hear what the tax rate is. Well, I mean, it's basically the decision on whether you want to split the the tax rate rate and that kind of stuff, and you'll know what the tax rate is. That's a very predictable discussion. Yeah. The state is a little bit slow at – this is actually a reval year for the Mm -hmm. town of Waitley, although we've been doing kind of interim revals Uh each year. But every third year you're supposed to do a major reval. We the assessors sent the information off September twenty fifth, and we're still waiting for them to approve oh. the the reval information. And also, and once that gets approved, there's a disclosure time period where people can come and look at their um, new values and you know comment on it. Um, so <laughs> it's like, but then we have to get all that done before we have the tax rate hearing. So it, you're going to have a busy few weeks. It, <laughs> comment on the assessment. I'm sure there are so many, so many comments. Oh, comment. Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, it basically shows people if they're, they're, uh, I don't think there's, um, huge changes, um, there might be a couple of categories, and I, for the life of me, I can't remember what they are at this point in time, but there might be a couple of categories that might have changed. Um, but other than that, I don't, you know, the economy has been such that values aren't rising as they did, you know, 10 years ago. So 
Well, the price of housing is going up. It, it's starting bit. to, but at this point in time, well, I think we're it okay. It didn't go down much around here. In right Waitley, uh, people were still selling houses for more than what they were assessed at. Yeah. So yeah. we never... It didn't spike that high at the, mm-hmm. at, the, no. at the peak. And so if it doesn't spike that high, it's not going to drop that far. Yeah, we, uh, you know, people's... People in general were still, even in, at the, you know, they talk about people being underwater because their the value of their home is no longer even close Covering to the their mortgage. mortgage. Um, that's not necessarily the case here in Waitley. Mm-hmm. So um, people yeah. are we're still selling their properties for at or more than the assessed value. Before so. our next meeting, I'm I'm hopeful that we'll have an answer from Solarize. Oh, no, no, okay. No, good. good. Hopeful. Okay. But it's green people are on the ball. Usually. Absolutely. Oh, I am also um, applying for assistance to firefighters grant. Um, mm-hmm. That's due December 5th, I believe. So I might have paperwork for you on that December 3rd meeting, Fire. and then I'll – actually, no, we're going to go for the um, – John and I talked about it a little bit, and because of the – the standards that they're looking for as far as fire trucks, we'd love a fire truck, but the likelihood of us getting it is mm-hmm. is kind of slim. And with the transition period of the whole ambulance thing, we decided not to apply for an ambulance at this point in time. But John is looking to have a, an exhaust system put into the fire station, and he's going to make that as a capital request. It's and like, a, like an exhaust, meaning like a heat uh, exchange ventilation? Um, it's basically an exhaust system so you can pipe the exhaust from the trucks directly oh. into this exhaust like system. Like they have a at, at, uh, at auto yeah. repair shops yeah. that you yeah. put it right on the tailpipe. Right, pipe. right. Oh, so... Okay. Um, and the insurance company has been after us for a few years to get that done, and it's not cheap. It's $86,000. Oh, my goodness. So Do we think we have a shot? Um, I think that has a, a pretty good shot, shot because it is involving firefighter safety. Mm. Um, and plus, with the insurance company pushing the issue, I, you know, I think it has a good chance. Yeah. And it's not – I mean, it sounds like a lot of money, but it's not – in the overall scheme of things, not it's like not a, a huge – it's a not – right. So I think that that will um, – I think it, it – it's hard because that's such a competitive grant, but it's probably got a better chance than either a fire truck or an ambulance at this time. I did get a – I did talk to the guy about my last application for the ambulance, and I don't know. I may have – I may have mentioned that. I thought you mentioned Yeah, something. but the, the, the letter I got says, you know, about open jump seats and all this stuff. Well, they used the same letter for fire trucks as they did for ambulances, so it really didn't make a lot of sense. And I, he says, I can see why you were confused. I said, I would suggest you have an ambulance letter, <laughs> you know. And uh, But basically, he looked at the application. He says the application was very good, but it didn't get past the first step, which is, the they didn't consider our ambulance to be old enough. Twelve ain't old enough. Twelve, it wasn't old enough because they were actually giving ambulances to people who didn't have ambulances at all, or their ambulances oh. were thirty years old. So, um, but we're about to. We're, 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 there's a chance that we're not going to pass inspection at some we, point down the road. Well, and if, um, Phil actually talked to Gary about that. We Phil Bonaiuto is the person that inspects the ambulance. And at this point in time, he doesn't see anything coming down the road that would make us um, replace our ambulance. The last time we had to replace it because there were changes in the requirements. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But at this point in time, he doesn't see anything coming down the road that would make us change for that reason. Um, it's still, you know, an ambulance doesn't get an awful lot of miles on it. So, you know, from that standpoint, the ambulance is in reasonably good shape. So um, I think, you know, it, it will probably have a, a few years left on it, but, you know, we don't know how many. And that um, was a question that John had about what's going to happen to our ambulance. And I think that's something the board of oversight is going to have to determine and, and can i suggest and, and i don't know how far down the road wendy is with her application but does it make sense to apply for equipment for the uh of course it gets dicey i understand that but to have equipment so that the waitley ambulance could be paramedic level two although i understand that she'd be applying for a waitley owned 
piece of property because it's not part of the MLE. Right. I get all that. Yeah. But I, as a backup, and I think yeah. everyone would love to have it as a backup. Yeah. I can ask her about that. Um, I There is a little wiggle room left in her, in the budget for, because um, I think it's a $250,000 grant, and I think she's up to 163000 So there is some wiggle room in the grant uh, as far as equipment. And then if she adds the salary into that, then it would put it up to close to the two hundred and fifty. Yeah. But, but you, um, she still has forty or fifty in there, it sounds like. Yeah, so she, uh, you know, the, the cardiac monitors and stuff like that are, are expensive. That's what I just throw it out there. Yeah. It may be worth having a conversation with Wendy about okay. that because yeah. I, I think it would be nice to have that third ambulance, not just for Whaley, but for right. the, the entire yeah, right. partnership. Right, yeah. right. And that was something, you know, we weren't quite sure how they wanted to handle that, whether because there would be a cost to having that third ambulance if Waitley, mm -hmm. if they wanted to have it as part of the regional. Um, but it also, in our conversation, we aren't feeling that it's realistic that we'll be up and running on January 1st. Oh, yeah. That, I, so I think we're leaning. We talked and thought maybe March 1st was a more realistic date. Um, so there'll be some wiggle room in the budget because everybody's been, we appropriated for the right. regional um, for six months. So there will be some wiggle room probably in the budget that would absorb some of the things that we, you know, if they want to take Waitley's ambulance. Um, mm -hmm. So. Or somehow yeah. just get it, get it in the rotation. Yeah. You know, I think somebody had mentioned once, well, if, what if we don't have a paramedic level call? We get a call in and we know it's not yeah. paramedic level. Well, it's also talked about, and this would be um, a procedure, part of the SOPs. If you get a mutual aid call, you can always send that backup ambulance instead of your primary ambulance. Yeah. So, um, you know, as long as it's not a real critical sort of call, if it's just a yeah. routine call f for mutual yeah. aid, like, you know, going to Greenfield. Because a lot of times when Deerfield goes to Greenfield, they get called back before they even get up there. So, right. you know, if we, you, if that will be a decision that the yeah. Board of Oversight yeah. will have to make. So. And then we can tap into our volunteer system yeah. on that level. Yeah. Um, Getting back to the town hall grants for a second, the second grant that we got that we that we either didn't get or didn't apply for last year, the, the mass historical grant, yeah. When's that coming down? It uh, they don't come out the same time every year. Last year they were both due at the same time, March fifteenth. Um, so for you. <laughs> yeah, especially during budget season. Right. <laughs> Yeah, because you're not but, doing anything else during right, March right, anyway. Right, right, yeah. Well, I could probably, I'm, well, that's what I think a lot pull, of. Pulling volunteer help. Yeah, that, well, that, I think a lot of the prep work that we've used for the other grant can be used for that mass historical grant. So it's just a matter of, I can look through the last year's grant and see what kind of information is needed in and that's it another two, and two start it. That's another um, 2 or 250, isn't it? Yeah. So. Nice to have them, but let's yeah let's let's get those on the radar screen so we yeah, can have your peer review. The peer review teams, I think, are going to be a real help. Yep. A real help. No, it's a case on your computer. Okay. 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 Motion to adjourn. Yep. Okay. We're good. <laughs> right.